Welcome back. There's an aviation museum now open to folks in the 608 for the very first time. It's really cool, too. It's in Broadhead, and Josh Breider is there checking it out and showing us around. Hey, Josh. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, pretty cool place here. This just opened up here within the last few weeks this summer and it's all free and open to the public. We're here in Broadhead this morning at the Couch Aviation Museum, literally right on the Broadhead Airport. And we're learning a lot of history about some of these old model planes this morning. Right now, Hannah Schickles is the events coordinator, also archivist here at the museum. And Hannah, first off, you're super young. What got you involved and, you know, what got you interested in planes? Oh, it, it, it's a crazy story. I started here as a volunteer and on my first day volunteering here, they were like, do you want to go for an airplane ride in one of our antique airplanes here at the museum? And I was like, no, you're crazy. And they talked me into it because they're very persuasive. And I did it, and it was amazing. And I fell in love with aviation, and now I'm a student pilot, and I continue to work here and learn every single day. So, you know, our, obviously we're here in 2021, but when you look back, you know, and look at the history and you're looking at where they all started, now yeah. you're a student pilot, you know, what is kind of that to you when you're looking at all of this stuff? It's, it's insane. Like people nowadays, you know, they're still like, they get scared of flying, but it's like, why? There's, it's so safe. It's safer than driving. And um, you look back at those old pilots, like Ami was talking about airmail pilots earlier, how it was, you were joining, it was like a suicide pact because uh, airmail pilot had three weeks lifespan on average. Um, so it's, it's crazy. So talk a little bit about the plane that we have behind us. And this is a pretty special part of the museum too. Yes, this is a very special plane because this is, uh, this is a Pete and Paul air camper built by Bernard Pete and Paul himself. Actually, this one is. Uh, there's a Broadhead Pete and Paul Association here. It's home built airplanes. Bernard Pete and Paul is credited with being the father of home built airplanes. He created this airplane, this model, in 1929. And he took it to uh, one of the first fly-ins, and it was super cool. And an editor saw him, and he was like, wow, I got to write about this. This is going to be, you know, groundbreaking. So he did, and it, it took off. He started selling blueprints like hotcakes. And um, now people to this day, they still build peat and pole airplanes. And we have a peat and pole fly-in here that's related to the association. And uh, a month ago, we had you know, 25 airplanes, uh, peat and poles here on the field. That's so, really so cool. So you talk about that home built and you actually have kind of uh, an example of what it would look like for oh, those yeah. folks that would build these planes. Yeah, so we have a little bit of a, not necessarily a replica of Bernard Pete and Paul's workshop, but something that would look like as if you were working here. We have some of his original artifacts here, like the original photo boards, as you can see. And um, we have a four Model A engine that was really uh, one of the groundbreaking things about this airplane was the fact that he could take an automotive engine and put that on an aircraft and make it successful. At the time, a ton of people had tried to do something like that, but they, you know, it didn't climb right or it just, it, it wasn't able to, it wasn't powerful enough to lift the airplane or whatnot. So the fact that Bernard made, the, made those um, modifications to the engine made it work was really cool. So why Broadhead? Why is this museum here in Broadhead? Well, the Pete and Paul Association is here because we have a lot of the founders that started the Pete and Paul Association was here. The first line was at Cherry Grove, Minnesota, which is where Bernard grew up um, and had his workshop. But the Kelch Aviation Museum in general, um, antique airplanes, that's what we're all here for is... Um, that little niche, that little slice of the world where you can't see anything like this anywhere else. To see biplanes fly in formation, especially, you know, our antiques like this, it's, it's really special. Awesome. Well, Hannah, thank you so much for the tour this morning. We appreciate it. Of course, we'll have all of this up on channel3000.com as well. Again, it is free to get in. All of this is donation-based, so you should really check it out. It is really something special. There's something to learn for everyone in here, guys. So, Josh, which plane are you getting in? Um, that's a good question. Which plane am I getting into? Do we know? This red steerman. Oh, this one right there here. Is. This one behind me. This is the one that we're going to be getting in at 645. Ooh. I guess it's a little bit of a process to get in. So hopefully it goes smoothly, guys. I guess you'll have to stick around here in about 25 minutes. She's pretty. I think they should take you for a spin. I don't know about that. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> say no to that. Oh, boy. Just don't make me drive. <laughs> Just make sure we get video. Josh Breiner in live television. Oh, Thanks, boy. Josh. <laughs> okay, remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out to him on social media or shoot him an email at in the 608 at wisctv.com.